Hey guys, welcome back to Project Tube. Today we are going to be looking at M3D's filament lineup. About a month ago they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do a review on their filament. And of course I said yes, because who's who can't use more filament and who doesn't want to try a new filament. So we're going to be taking a look at their lineup here. They offer several different types of filament and they do it a little bit differently. They sell their filament by foot, 250 foot spools, 500 foot spools and a thousand foot spools and I'm not sure how I feel about this one thing I can say is their sample pack that they sent me came in 250 foot spools and one thing I noticed was it did not fit on the CR10S built-in spool holder which you know whatever but it's kind of annoying to be honest so I figured that out but we're gonna be going through each of their filament types and seeing how they perform and my thoughts on it so let's get started The first filament that I wanted to try out was their tough filament and they provided me with a spool of Mighty Blue, you're my boy Blue, and Utility Gray. And looking at the details of this, this is a proprietary non-toxic thermoplastic blend made exclusively by M3D. Tough offers unprecedented utility for 3D printing due to its strength and controlled amount of flexibility. One of the problems with PLA is it's very rigid, but it also shatters very easily. It doesn't bend or flex very easily like maybe nylon would. When compared to traditional filaments, which have a fraction of the bond strength and are typically brittle when printed, tough ink is bonded at full strength, allowing you to print a longer lasting object. So that's really interesting and kind of caught my attention, so I thought I'd give it a try. When looking at the filament on the actual spools, it is fairly flexible and it reminds me of a lot of TPU. So this filament will go ahead and print at 220 to 240. I printed it at 230 and uh, I did a 60 degree bed. So this is how it came out. So here's the first print I did with the tough ink. It's the measuring cube and I did this at 0.2 with a 30% infill and my extrusion multiplier was way high because I was thinking it was printing going to print like TPU would, uh, but it doesn't. So this one came out kind of pimply and just not so good. Like, you know, we got some support issues right here. So anyways, but one thing I did notice is just how strong this stuff is. I mean, the bond, the layer adhesion is just great. It's really good really strong so I figured you know because this thing didn't come out too good why not test the strength and run it over with one of the cars so let's try it so I have to be honest I was impressed this thing held up being run over back and forth in the gravel being ground down in there and there was a little bit of layer separation just on the lip it wasn't bad at all I'd have to give two thumbs up on this filament it's pretty dang tough seeing how rigid and yet flexible the measuring cube came out I was wondering if I could print a carabiner out of it and it have it be rigid enough to be functional and still be flexible enough not to break so I went ahead and loaded the mighty blue you're my boy blue onto the TIFO Tornado and printed out a carabiner. So here's how the carabiner turned out in the Tough Mighty Blue. And it's, you know, it's functional, but I wouldn't say it's ideal, just not rigid enough. This was 100% infill, so this is all solid. But one thing that kind of demonstrates how tough it is, is just how much you can tweak this stuff. And it'll come back to its original position. And like I said, it does function, but just for a carabiner, not really that well. But still very cool. So the next series of filaments that I tested out, and I say series is because they're very similar, was their ABS-R and ABS-R3. Now this is basically an ABS replacement. It is not ABS. It didn't smell like ABS when I was printing. It didn't get any really any warping. Um, they sent me the clear, which is actually very, very clear, of the ABS-R, and I got the green of the ABS R3. Now the ABS R3 is supposed to be a bit more flexible than the ABS R and I can kind of see it. It's it's slight but there is some more flex to that. 
So this is the next one I started to print out and I was actually pretty happy with the results. Let's take a look. For these two materials, I decided to stick with the carabiner print because I think it would be awesome and perfectly suited for these specific materials and this print. And the reason being is the outside C shape of the carabiner needs to be fairly rigid and strong, while the latch needs to be, you know, somewhat flexible in order to open. So I decided to print the outside C shape, the frame of the carabiner, in the clear ABS R and the latch out of the green ABS R3. And this is how they turned out. I'm actually really happy with them. They're pretty cool. The springiness of this latch in the green ABS R3 is perfect. It's still strong, but I mean, it's, it's flexible. And this stuff is just tough. Now this is 100% infill on both pieces. So, you know, it's gonna be strong, but I mean, it's really strong and the pull strength of it seems really strong too and I'd like to actually strength test that. So let's give that a try. Unfortunately, I don't have a pull scale or like hanging scale to properly test the, you know, the brake strength of this, but I just hooked up an old rotor and this mini anvil I have. I think it's around 30 to 40 pounds and it seemed to handle it just fine. I was chuckling in this video because my dog's looking up at me like, what the hell are you doing? M3D also provided me a roll of their Deep Cobalt PLA, which I attempted to print these Predator action pliers out of. Unfortunately, you know, I think my bed was just too close and it was sealing up where the gap should be on this bottom layer. So that didn't work out. And between the two of these, I almost printed basically the whole 250 feet. So I gave up on that there. But their PLA is great. I would say it's as good as any other ones I've used before. I really do like the color. It's nice, it kind of pops. Uh, I printed the vase out of ABS R and this vase out of ABS R3. I like the transparent nature of these and this color is really fluorescent and kind of cool. Um, this of course is fairly clear. This was with two shells so you know if you did a perimeter like a vase mode it likely come out even more clear if that's something you're looking for. I'm really impressed with their tough filament. Really like this. Impressed with the durability, the flexibility of it. It's really nice. Just fun to print. Um, All together, I think their lineup of filament is just really top quality, as good as the best out there, and um, I would recommend it. I think M3D is going to be at the East Coast Rep Wrap Festival, and so if you're going to be going to that, you might want to check them out. And uh, if you guys like this video, hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.